Land of the free, home of the brave. That's what makes the United States. Now let's take a journey with the spirit of freedom. Liberty will lead the way. Let's take a star, spangled adventure. Star, spangled adventure. All the things you'd want to know about America's in the show. So come on, all you patriots, let's go. Now how will we hear what they are saying? Kind sir, <coughs> I must vehemently disagree with your arguments. We must remain a country that is of individual states, and not create, that is, yet another tyrannical government whose yoke we have only just escaped. Yeah! That, dear sir, would be a golden invitation to have said tyrannical government regain our nation state by state. Begging to differ, but we need a strong federal government because left to their own devices, only Providence knows what the southern states may do. Dr. Franklin. I have lived, sir, a long time. And the longer I live, the more convincing proofs I see of this truth that God governs in the affairs of men. And if a sparrow cannot fall to the ground without his notice, is it probable that an empire can rise without his aid? We have been assured, sir, in the sacred writings that except the Lord build, they labor in vain that build it. I firmly believe this. I propose we adjourn for three days, and for each of us to pray and informally discuss these issues with those whom we disagree. Hello! I'm here at Independence Hall. You remember, that's where the Declaration of Independence was signed. It's sure hot up here, so inside it's plenty hot, and I mean both temperature and tempers. Inside is a meeting of the Constitutional Convention. But so many people have been listening in from outside, they've nailed the windows shut in summer, and they don't even have air conditioning yet. Quite a bit has happened. America won the war and has become its own independent nation. Now the hard part begins. America said their country will be governed by the people and not a monarchy, meaning not a king. No nation at the time had ever tried this before. In fact, there had never been a complete written constitution in the world. A constitution is like the instruction manual for a country. Before, whatever the king wanted to do was what the country did. But America is ruled not by a king and not even a president, but by the Constitution that spells out what a government does and does not do. So, after their three-day break, they have now returned. But will they ever be able to all agree? Mm, I was hesitant to attend... <coughs> this august body so as not to participate in the creation of a federal government which will rob our people of the liberties for which our men and women sacrificed for seven long years of war. Mr. Mason, <coughs> the only way to go forward is a compromise. Yes, we build a strong republic. No! no. Sir, too much power. Sir. May I finish? But we limit the power of the federal government. Go on. We know a republic needs an executive, a president. But to keep him from becoming a king, we say he cannot make laws. We have a second independent body that only does that. And we have a third separate body, a court, one that is supreme, executive legislative, judicial, 
no one person has all the power, and that way, they can check and balance one another. And what of all the laws not granted to this federal government? They remain with the states? Yes. How then shall we choose these leaders? These delegates are learning that to be a country of self-government, no one person or group gets their way 100%. But now, George Mason's question is a real tough one. Who gets to pick America's leaders? Perhaps a committee is formed to appoint a president. But, sir, if we are saying we, the people, are governing, should we not say that we, the people, elect the president? <laughs> sir, this House of Congress, do they send one representative from each state or two? But, sir, then Pennsylvanian citizens who are ten times that of Georgia, would not be adequately represented. It should be decided by population. More people, more representatives. Uh, yes, but in Georgia, we have fewer people because our land is mostly farmland growing food for you states with crowded cities. We need equal representation. Sirs, if we have learned anything, it is that compromise is the key to self-governance. I propose two houses then, a Senate where each state gets two senators, and a House of Representatives based on population. We have both. It seems that the delegates are ready to vote on the Constitution. Gentlemen, I agree. Gentlemen, I agree. Gentlemen, I disagree. I would rather chop off my right hand than to sign this without a Bill of Rights to protect individual liberties. Mr. Mason, please. We've been in this hot room for four months. We are now agreed on the structure of government. What if we sign now, but all here agree to draft this Bill of Rights and add it to the Constitution? Hear, hear! A few years later, James Madison will write ten editions, or amendments, about individual liberties called the Bill of Rights. The people are now in charge of America. <laughs> Dr. Franklin, what kind of government did you decide? A republic or a monarchy? A republic, if you can keep it. A republic, if you can keep it, means you'll never have a ruler or a king. A republic, if you can keep it, means the people are in charge of everything. We all have to do our part to keep this nation great. You and me, that's where it starts, the citizens of every state. We can vote and use our voice on this land. We have a choice because a republic and how to keep it is when you're in with your community. Yes, our republic, and how to keep it, is when you've learned